The honorary degree will now be conferred. I invite Dr. Martin Laba to present the honorary degree candidate, Sarah McLaughlin. Dr. Laba's leadership as director of the School of Communication until 2010 helped drive the creation of SFU's dynamic faculty of communication, art, and technology. His influential research in communications for social change has focused on the design and development of the public media and education to intervene against AIDS and HIV, social stigmatization in the sub-Sahara Africa. Dr. Lava. Mr. Chancellor, there you are. Music is a force of extraordinary and compelling power in all societies. It is a force of cultural transformation and has at times given drive and given direction to projects of social change. The best of popular music in particular has at various turns and in diverse cultural contexts opened up our imaginations. It has moved us emotionally. It has moved us socially. It has even moved us politically. And it has driven and inspired us. It has uplifted and enlightened us. It has helped us to experience and to explain and to imagine the possibilities of our lives individually and collectively. And most artful and preeminent in this respect is Sarah McLaughlin. Her continually luminous career has been infinitely more than musical, although she has had a singular and enduring impact on the progress and the direction of popular music in Canada and around the globe. For over 20 years, Sarah has made her indelible mark in the music industry as a singer, a songwriter, a multi-instrumentalist, a producer, and an inspiration to many other musical careers. Her career is marked by a litany of awards as she has been recognized nationally and internationally for the grace and the beauty of her songwriting and her performances, for the excellence of her craft, and for her remarkable capacity to see music as a vehicle for social change. She has acted with dedication and resolve upon the vision that music can activate and mobilize popular understandings and commitments to critical issues and global events. She has recognized that music is not only good for the soul, it's also good for society, it's also good for culture, it's good for positive and sustained social progress. Sarah McLaughlin has achieved international renown for her artistic accomplishment and she has equaled that accomplishment in her philanthropic imagination and her actions. As her recording career has been marked by multi-platinum success and critical acclaim, Sarah McLaughlin has imagined and defined and carried out a robust agenda of philanthropic initiatives. From Lilith Fair, which raised millions of dollars for women's organizations, and charities, and literally expanded the stage for women musicians. To her prominent role in One World, a concert for Tsunami Relief, which raised almost $4 million for Canadian aid agencies working in South and Southeast Asia in 2005. To her participation in the Live 8 concert, an event of popular music persuasion to G8 participants on issues of uh, poverty alleviation and debt relief on the African continent, to her focus on urgent and critical issues of animal welfare, her enormously influential advocacy on behalf of the ASPCA, to her compelling vision of free music education for vulnerable youth in Vancouver's inner city through the Sarah McLaughlin Foundation, the Sarah McLaughlin Music Outreach Program in partnership with Arts Umbrella, and the launching of the Sarah McLaughlin School of Music, an ambitious and ongoing project to foster imagination and creativity, to build skill and self-esteem, and to demonstrate for at-risk youth the positive and demonstrable force of their own voices. All of these contributions are remarkable 
and all share the aspirations that are central to Simon Fraser University, and more broadly, to the university and contemporary society. That is, as a site of citizenship through education, the university has an abiding responsibility to be fully engaged with and committed to the advancement of the communities it serves. And indeed, this is the responsibility of each of you as you graduate today. And so we gain inspiration, example, and direction in Sarah McLaughlin's music, in her artistic achievements, in her dedication to civic engagement, in her vision and commitments to make music truly an enduring agent of social change. Mr. Chancellor, I ask on behalf of the Senate of this university that you confer upon Sarah McLaughlin the degree of Doctor of Fine Art honoris causa. Sarah McLaughlin, by virtue of the authority vested in me and in the Senate of this university, I hereby admit you to the degree of Doctor of Fine Arts honoris causa. Ms. McLaughlin will be hooded by Dr. Bill Crane, Associate Vice President, uh, Acad uh, Academics, and Dr. Kate Ross, Registrar. In place of a convocation address, Dr. McLaughlin will perform two songs for us today. I, I can sense the disappointment in the crowd. It is therefore with great pleasure that I now call upon Dr. Sarah McLaughlin. I, I feel honored and humbled to be amongst you today and to be receiving this doctorate degree. We are all on a journey in this life to find and nurture our purpose and passions. And this is a day of celebration of those discoveries, all the dedication and hard work. I feel like I've been incredibly blessed uh, with good fortune in my life and I'm thankful every day. Giving back to the world some of the love it's given me is a fantastic way to live. I recommend it to all of you. It really works. So use your gifts to inspire and ignite. Dream big, build your community, and do your part to help create a caring world. And with each one of us giving back, sharing, we make something that is much more than the sum of all of us. So I wish you all great success and happiness. And thus ends my brief notes, and I'm going to Oh, the 
I know perhaps this next one is less appropriate. Um, it seems to be the one that everybody always wants to hear, so I will